Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for February 15th, 2023. Well, yesterday, um, we had quite a wild ride in the market, and unfortunately, not much was resolved as far as overall direction. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, unfortunately, not much was resolved yesterday. As you can see here in the diamonds, I had suggested that if those bulls find inspiration in that CPI number, then I would expect a break of that resistance level up in here and maybe even a push up into these higher levels of price resistance. Unfortunately, what we ended up doing is whipsawing multiple times during the day here on the diamonds, leaving us stuck in this consolidation range that's about 800 points on the Dow between that high and that low. So here today, the same situation is true as we face a big day of economic data. If that data proves to be bullish, I would look for those bulls to try and push through that resistance level to the upside here. Um, and see if they can maybe attack some of these upside levels. If the bears find inspiration today, well, then I would look for an attack of this downside support area in the chart and possibly even a break of that that could push us down toward the bottom of this little um, upside rally here in the market. So, oh my goodness, another day of uncertainty, another day of possible whipsaws. Let's take a look at our SPY. SPY, it held up much better than the diamonds did um, at the end of the day yesterday. And I have to say that this is a bullish pattern um, in the chart, noticing that we're holding this price support in here, we're holding this upside trend here in the chart. But certainly that little candle pattern yesterday left a little bit more question than answer on the day. And you can still see that hint of possibility in here that we could just create another lower high here in the chart pretty easily if the bears were to grab on today. So if those bears find inspiration, I would look for a retest down in here under that little support area of the chart. And that would, if that were to occur, that would break this little upside trend. So kind of keep that in mind. However, if those bulls find inspiration here today, then another attack possible up here to test some of these resistance levels of this little falling wedge pattern here. We'll want to keep a close eye on that because is we could expect some big price moves again here today and I would not rule out the possibility of more whipsaws. If we take a look at our QQQ, well QQQ had the best of it yesterday. Uh, those bulls really ran into the NASDAQ pretty hard yesterday but unfortunately here again although this is a bullish pattern holding on to this price support we didn't really resolve this upside move here. We ran into that price resistance and that's kind of where we finished the day. So the question is, could this be another lower high coming into play? Well, if those bulls find inspiration, I would look for an attack up into this area or maybe even a little bit higher up in here. So watch that's a big point move possible um, occurring in the market. And if the bears find inspiration, then maybe a press back down to test this support level in the chart. And unfortunately, if that were to occur, that would break this um, really steep upside trend on the QQQ. So watch that close. And then if we look at IWM, well, IWM, Struggled a little bit yesterday, kind of like the Dow. We whipsawed quite a bit here in that chart. And unfortunately, we have already given up that kind of steep upside trend. The good news is we held on to price support in this move uh, to the upside. So that gives us that little bit of a bullish edge. But at the same time, we have that little problem in here where we could run into a little bit of price resistance here in the chart, rallying back to that downtrend 
uh, break and then potentially moving lower. So I would say if the bears gain um, uh, ground today, then I would watch this level right here for price support. And unfortunately, that would be kind of a confirmation of a lower high and failure of the trend. So watch carefully for that. However, if the bulls find inspiration in all these data points today, then I would look for that test right back up here. Let's move up into this area of resistance and then let's see if we can push right on through to that next level right up here in the chart if those bulls can grab a hold based on the data. Let's take a look at our VIX real quick. Our VIX, surprisingly, with the big whipsaws, the uncertainty that we saw in the market yesterday, collapsed hard. So um, I, I said this several times yesterday during the right way options class. I think what we're seeing here is truly some remarkable complacency in this market. Based on the numbers, the Federal Reserve is likely going to continue to tighten. And um, we actually saw our six month bonds go above 5%, showing us a massive inversion um, of our uh, bond rates. So that does not bode well um, going forward here for the market. And so I think there is some complacency here as we tr we're continuing to try and ignore some of these bad economic numbers in the market. Now, that being said, if they can continue to push this down, if we can find reason for bullishness today, then I would look for some support levels down in here and possibly even attack of this low down in here. If they can grab a hold of some bullish headlines today in some of these data points coming out if those bears find inspiration and uh, we bounce up off of there once again i don't think this turns terribly ugly um, in the market right now there seems to be very little fear here i don't quite understand it but it's not they're not showing any fear here so i don't think anything gets really ugly unless we break above these areas here in the chart and actually hold a higher low now you can see the possibility if we were to reverse yesterday's move well we may have created a little higher low but we'll want to watch that close i think anything is possible if we take a look at our t2122 well this is one of those things that goes on every once in a while the market is very very resilient on the bullish side they continue to try and talk this thing higher and higher and higher um, but our T2122, even with those big whips and, and things um, in the market, we ended up with our T2122 up here around 77%. Uh, percent, and notice that we kind of turned over flat and hooked over. So um, our T2122 seems to be a little bit confused here on the day. Um, uh, after the day yesterday, trying to decide that direction. And so it's gonna be all about that those data points this morning, I think, that probably makes that inspiration occur. If we find that bullish inspiration, we certainly have upside potential here before we hit that bearish reversal zone in T2122. And if those bears find inspiration, well, obviously we have a pretty big downside opportunity as well should those bears have a reason to grab a hold of the market. So watch that close. And if we take a look at our T2108, the percentage of stocks holding above our 40 day moving average, we ticked a little bit lower yesterday. We got the impression that everything was bullish as we pushed back up, but the number of stocks above their 40 day just ticked slightly lower, 72% of those stocks. And I will continue to remind everyone that when we're up in this area here, we're in a, per, a pretty rare um, a circumstance here in the market with so much bullishness pushing so many of these stocks higher that we may have kind of reached some limits here um, that um, are hard to hold on to. And the same thing if we look at our T2107, the percentage of stocks holding above their 200 day notice, they hooked over just a little bit as well yesterday. 61% of the stocks holding up in here. Certainly nothing bearish in this chart, except for the fact that we're up here in a pretty rare uh, circumstance. It's, it's all the way back to 2017. It's difficult to maintain our um, um, level of bullishness above these levels very long. So watch that carefully. Our T2101 um, is you probably noticed in those charts, our T2101, whoops, let's get the right chart. 
um, T2101 continues to show um, uh, that little bit of momentum here, but n honestly, we've been whipsawing an awful lot. And you probably noticed on those index charts that what we saw yesterday, even with those big price moves, a little bit lacking on the volume, except the, Net, the NASDAQ, we were a little bit light. So I think it probably is not giving us the best of data here overall. Um, certainly the Diamonds is struggling with momentum as we continue to range in this 800 point consolidation. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And oh my goodness, we've got a busy one this morning. Uh, we've got a, um, a lot of market moving events here today to be paying attention to. First off, retail sales this morning, we'll wanna watch that. Consensus is expecting that to improve just slightly from that very ugly number last month that we largely ignored. Um, so watch that closely. We've got an Empire State manufacturing number. That was a horrific number last time. And again, we ignored it um, in the market and they are looking for a modest improvement for that today. Um, industrial production will come after that. Again, consensus is suggesting we'll see an improvement this month uh, from some very negative readings that we've had prior. Watch that closely. Business inventories, that'll be interesting. What we have seen is some reports coming in that inventories have been growing substantially, so much to the extent that they're even, even using uh, um, shipping containers as temporary storage and those prices are starting to go up that will likely filter in to uh, that consumer price as well. So watch that carefully on those business inventories. And then um, um, housing market index, this will be important. We want to continue to see those housing prices come down. That will help us on that inflation read. So keep an eye on that. We've got petroleum status. There's the Atlanta Fed um, um, expectation on inflation. We might want to watch that. It's not really a market mover, but keep an eye on that. Petroleum status. We've got some bond auctions. This 20 year might be kind of interesting today, considering the way bonds have been fluctuating and then international trade or international capital will be coming in after the bell as you can see um, moving forward we're not out of the woods yet for this week we've got housing starts jobless claims philly fed the ppi number on friday along with um, several fed speakers so kind of keep that in mind for thursday where you still have the potential for significant volatility uh, with those impactful um, reports coming our way. Um, let's also take a look at that earnings calendar. Now the earnings calendar is a busy one today and there's no way that I can cover all of these reports here this morning. So if you want to catch a full list of these notables for today, guys, if you would click that link just below the title of the video, um, you'll find a link that takes you back to the morning blog where I've listed all those potential notables for today. So for example, we're gonna hear from like ALKS, whoops, ALKS today. So keep an eye on that. We're gonna hear from um, um, Barry Gold here today. We're gonna hear from Cisco this afternoon. Um, If I could type, things would go a lot better, you guys. If you ever wondered if this was um, an edited video, now you know that it is not. Uh, <laughs> Cisco um, will be reporting today, so keep an eye on that. We'll hear from um, Fastly here today. We'll hear from some oil, um, uh, MRO, keep an eye on that. We're gonna hear from TWLO today. Uh, watch carefully. We also have um, Shopify this afternoon that certainly could be a pretty substantial market mover and Roku uh, might be an interesting one to watch today. So there's a few of the, just a very few of the charts um, reporting today. So please, again, make sure you click that link below the title of the video if you wanna catch the full list of those notables. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that 
quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. I just wanna say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. It takes the time to share these videos out on your social media feeds. And then also, big shout out to everyone who continues to support the, uh, the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link that's just below the title of the video. You guys are truly, truly awesome. Let's take a look at a few of these charts that could be setting up, and please keep in mind, guys, with the the data coming our way, truly anything is possible. So um, if you find this market to be overly challenging and, and difficult to hold on to an edge, and I do, um, after more than 30 years of trading it, um, for a swing trader, this is a very difficult market to trade because there's not much edge when we have 800 point swings going back and forth in the diamonds. And we've been doing that for pretty much uh, the better part of a month. So. Um, um, lots of uncertainty here and it makes it very very difficult to find direction now there's certainly lots of good directional charts out there just remember this volatility can reverse those things so quickly it can make your head spin let's take a look at a few of these charts um, remember never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade idea make sure it fits your risk tolerance um, and fits your trading plan. Take a look at DKNG. Pointed this one out yesterday to Rightway Options folks. I really like the way this is setting up in here. Now I have to admit this, this upside trend that was here was a little bit on the parabolic side. So it is entirely possible that on this bounce back up rally, we could smack into a little bit of price resistance here and then continue to rest for a while. But keep an eye on DKNG, um, sure, certainly showing some positive signs here in the chart. Take a look at AMD. AMD also showing those positive signs pushing up substantially yesterday. Now we still do have to worry about that little bit of a downturn like that, whether or not we're gonna follow through. And once again, this is a pretty steep rally, so don't rule out that possibility that we may have to rest a little bit more here in the chart coming up. Just. Just be careful here. Don't over trade um, this market right now because we're pretty extended in some of these moves. Um, that being said, take a look at CRWD. I really like this chart in CRWD. As a matter of fact, I came close to picking it up yesterday as a buy, but just with the data coming out, the extension of the market, I wanna be a little bit more cautious here um, overall. So keeping an eye on CRWD, this is coming up out of this bottom. You can see we've broken this downtrend. This is what we call a rounded bottom breakout coming up through that 50 day moving average after a very sold off condition. And I would be looking for that opportunity that this could stretch on up to the upside. But once again, guys, I would not rule out that possibility because of the the data points that we have coming the volatility that we've seen that this may still rest a bit more in um in that price action move so don't rule out that possibility what i'm saying is you may not have to rush to some of these trades um i do think it is um continues to be very very worthwhile as you guys know, I've been paying attention to this CCJ. Um, this has been moving up very nicely here, as you can see, a little bit steep, but we've heard that China is planning to build a huge number of nuclear power plants. Um, that's on their plans. And so watch this in here as this rests or consolidates sideways. I think that really could set up that next opportunity to move on up. Now, again, pretty steep in here. So don't rule out that possibility that we may have to rest a bit more, but watch carefully there on stocks like CCJ. I think you might want to keep a pretty close eye on the US dollar. Um, US dollar um, in this chart, as you can see, I've mentioned this a couple of times before, uh, breaking this downtrend, trying to hold this bullish pattern. Remember, if the US dollar gets stronger, 
typically you will see the markets weaken you'll also see gold weaken you'll see silver weaken you'll see things like oil and gas and uh, other commodities tend to weaken if the dollar strengthens and you can see we've got a little bit of a pop going on in the pre-market here on the US dollar and once again this is a rounded bottom breakout coming into play on that US dollar so um, one of those bullish patterns to be watching for here on the trade you know another chart here really quickly I'll mention it but I think you're gonna have to be really careful with this today uh, um, Generac is in a very bullish pattern you guys know I've been mentioning this one for a while um, um, as a potential um, a bullish setup coming um, out of that round and bottom breakout here in the chart very smooth price action moves here but unfortunately today uh, Generac is going to re be reporting earnings so look for some big potential moves here in that chart so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day thanks so much for being here I do truly appreciate it be very very careful in this market and remember guys if, if you feel like you don't have much of an edge remember that cash is a position and that position protects your capital it's so much easier to protect that capital in times of volatility like this just wait for better entries better reasons to be trading and then you're going instead of um, just trading because you want to be busy and potentially losing some of that capital it makes it a lot harder moving forward if that capital base continues to deteriorate because we just don't have the discipline to stand aside when there's not much edge in the market so with that everyone have an awesome awesome day i want to wish you all of the best and i'll see you right back here bright and early thursday morning y'all take care everyone